Welcome back to Coin Collecting World. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of stake quarters. Specifically, we're counting down the top five ultra rare stake quarter dollar coins that every collector dreams of owning. We'll explore their history, what makes them so valuable, and the stories behind these coveted coins. So let's get started. 1994 quarter dollar. The 1994 Washington Quarter continues this tradition, showcasing Flanagan's classic depiction of Washington. On the reverse, you'll find the familiar eagle design, also by Flanagan, symbolizing strength and freedom. It's worth noting that the design remained largely unchanged until the State Quarters program began in 1999, making the 1994 Quarter part of the last few years of the original design's uninterrupted run. Here are some quick specifications for the 1994 Washington Quarter. Diameter 24.3 mm. Weight 5.67 grams. Composition 91.67%. Copper 8.33% nickel. Edge readed. The 1994 Washington Quarter was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The mint marks can be found on the obverse to the right of Washington's ponytail. Philadelphia no mint mark. Denver D. San Francisco S. The San Francisco Mint produced proof versions, which are highly sought after by collectors for their superior finish and detail. Now let's talk about value. The 1994 Washington Quarter is generally considered common, but certain factors can increase its worth. Condition uncirculated and proof coins are more valuable than circulated ones. Mint marks quarters from the Denver and San Francisco mints tend to be more valuable. Errors and varieties keep an eye out for any minting errors, such as double dies or misstrikes, which can significantly boost a coin's value. As of now, here are some approximate values. Circulated $0.25 to $0.50. Uncirculated $1 to $5. Proof $3 to $10. Errors varies widely, often starting at $50 and up. If you're looking to add a 1994 Washington quarter to your collection, here are some tips. Check condition, look for coins with minimal wear, sharp details, and no significant scratches or blemishes. Buy certified coins, consider purchasing coins that have been graded by a reputable organization such as the PCGS or NGC to ensure authenticity and quality. 1976 Washington Quarter Dollar The 1976 Washington Quarter is unique for several reasons. First, it's a bicentennial coin commemorating the 200th anniversary of the United States independence. But what makes this coin truly special? Let's explore its history, design, and value. 1976 was a monumental year for the United States, marking 200 years since the Declaration of Independence. To celebrate, the U.S. Mint released special bicentennial coins, including the Washington Quarter. Unlike the standard quarters, these featured a special design and were minted for two years, 1,975 and 1976. Let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse of the 1976 Washington Quarter still showcases the familiar portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. However, the reverse is where the magic happens. Designed by Jack L. H.R., it features a colonial drummer and a torch encircled by 13 stars, symbolizing the original 13 colonies. The date 1776 to 1976 replaces the standard year, highlighting its commemorative nature. There are two main versions of the 1976 Washington Quarter, the clad version and the 40% silver version. The clad coins were minted in Philadelphia and Denver, while the silver coins were produced in San Francisco as part of special bicentennial sets. Both versions are collectible, but the silver coins are particularly prized for their precious metal content. So what about their value? As with most coins, the value depends on several factors, the version, condition, and rarity. Clad quarters in circulated condition are generally worth face value, but uncirculated and proof versions can fetch higher prices. The 40% silver quarters, especially in high grades, are worth significantly more due to their silver content. Here's a quick rundown of approximate values. Clad quarters in circulated condition $0.25 to $1. Clad quarters in uncirculated condition $3 to $5. Proof clad quarters $4 to $6. 40% silver quarters $5 to $10 in circulated condition. 40% silver quarters in uncirculated or proof condition $10 to $15 and up. Weir Farm 2020 State Quarter. The 2020 Weir Farm Quarter is the second release of the America the Beautiful Quarters Art Program. The reverse of the coin, designed by artistic and fusion program artist Justin Coons and sculpted by metallic artist Phoebe Hemphill, depicts an artist painting outside Weir Studio, capturing the natural beauty of the landscape. The inscriptions read, Weir Farm, Connecticut 2020, and E Pluribus Unum, the obverse features the familiar portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. The Weir Farm quarter was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. 
The coins from Philadelphia and Denver are intended for general circulation, while those from San Francisco are primarily minted for collectors. Each mint mark PD or S can be found on the obverse side of the coin to the right of Washington's bust. The value of the Weir Farm quarter can vary based on its condition, mint mark, and whether it's a standard circulation coin or a special release. As of now, circulated coins typically hold their face value of 25 cents. However, uncirculated and proof versions, especially those with the S mint mark, can be valued higher by collectors. It's not uncommon for these coins to fetch a few dollars in pristine condition. When collecting Weir Farm quarters, look for coins with minimal wear and sharp details. Proof versions with their mirror-like finish are especially prized. To preserve the coin's value, store it in a protective case away from moisture and extreme temperatures. The Weir Farm quarter is more than just a piece of currency. It's a tribute to American art and natural beauty. Whether you're adding it to your collection or just learning about its history, this coin is a valuable piece of our nation's heritage. Theodore Roosevelt National Park Quarter 2016 the Theodore Roosevelt National Park quarter was released on August 29, 2016 as the fourth quarter of that year and the 34th overall in the America the Beautiful Quarter series. This series began in 2010 and is set to continue until 2021, featuring 56 quarters in total, each representing a different national site in the United States. Theodore Roosevelt National Park, located in North Dakota, was established in 1978 to honor the 26th president's significant contributions to conservation and the development of the national park system. The park covers over 70,000 acres and showcases the rugged landscape that Roosevelt fell in love with during his time in the Badlands. The obverse of the quarter, like all America, the beautiful quarters, features the familiar portrait of George Washington by John Flanagan, first used on the 1932 quarter. The reverse, designed by Joel Iskowitz and sculpted by Phoebe Hemphill, depicts a young Theodore Roosevelt on horseback surveying the landscape of the North Dakota Badlands. The intricate design captures the spirit of adventure and conservation that Roosevelt embodied. Now let's take a closer look at the specifications of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park quarter. Composition 91.67% copper, 8.33% nickel. Diameter 24.26 M. Weight 5.67 grams. Edge reeded. Edge reeded. The coin was minted in three locations, Philadelphia P, Denver D, and San Francisco S. The Philadelphia and Denver mints produced the circulation strikes, while the San Francisco mint produced the proof strikes. Now let's talk about the value and collectability of this quarter. As with most modern quarters, the value largely depends on the coin's condition and rarity. Here's a breakdown of what you can expect. Circulated coins typically worth their face value of 25 cents, but in better conditions, they can fetch a bit more from collectors. Uncirculated coins, coins in mint state MS condition, graded MS65 or higher, can be valued around $1 to $3. Proof coins, the San Francisco proof versions, especially those in pristine condition, can be valued between $5 and $10. For those looking for special versions, the U.S. Mint also released silver proof sets where the Theodore Roosevelt quarter is composed of 90% silver. These can be more valuable, ranging from $10 to $20 or more, depending on the grade. 1999 Connecticut State Quarter. The Connecticut State Quarter was released on October 12, 1999, as part of the U.S. Mint's 50 State Quarters program. This program was a 10-year initiative that honored each of the 50 states with a unique quarter design, released in the order that the states joined the Union. The design on the Connecticut Quarter features the historic Charter Oak, a symbol of American independence and resilience. According to legend, the Charter Oak was the hiding place of Connecticut's Royal Charter of 1662, protecting it from confiscation by the British Governor General. Let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse of the coin, like all state quarters, features the familiar profile of George Washington. The reverse, designed by T. James Farrell, showcases the charter oak in stunning detail. The inscription around the image reads, Connecticut 1788, the year Connecticut ratified the Constitution, and the charter oak, the minting year 1999, is also displayed. The Connecticut State Quarter was minted in both Philadelphia marked with a P and Denver marked with a D. Additionally, proof versions were struck at the San Francisco Mint, which bear the S Mint mark. These proof coins are particularly popular among collectors for their high-quality strike and mirror-like finish. Now, let's talk about value. The value of a 1999 Connecticut State Quarter varies based on its condition and mint mark. Here's a quick breakdown. Circulated condition, most Connecticut quarters found in pocket change are worth their face value of 25 cents. Uncirculated condition coins in uncirculated condition can fetch around $1 to $3. Proof coins, San Francisco proof coins, can be worth $4 to $6 depending on their condition. 
for higher grades, such as those certified by professional grading services, prices can increase significantly. Say he a Connecticut quarter in MS69 or M70 condition can be worth hundreds of dollars to the right collector. Keep an eye out for any errors or variations as these can significantly increase the value of the coin. Some errors include double dies, off-center strikes, and missing clad layers. These anomalies are rare but can make your quarter worth much more. The year 1949 was a time of recovery and growth for the United States. The country was adjusting to post-war life and the economy was booming. Amidst this backdrop, the U.S. Mint continued its production of the iconic Lincoln Wheat Penny, a staple in American currency since 1909. On the obverse side of the 1949 Lincoln Wheat Penny, you'll find the familiar portrait of Abraham Lincoln designed by Victor David Brenner. This design has remained largely unchanged since its introduction, symbolizing the enduring legacy of the 16th president. The reverse side features two wheat ears flanking the denomination one cent and the inscription United States of America. This classic design is why these coins are commonly referred to as wheat pennies. The 1949 Lincoln wheat penny was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The mint mark located below the date on the obverse side indicates where the coin was produced. Philadelphia pennies have no mint mark while Denver and San Francisco pennies are marked with a D and S respectively. Here's a quick look at the mintage numbers for the 1949 Lincoln Wheat Penny. Philadelphia, approximately 217 million. Denver, approximately 153 million. San Francisco, approximately 64 million. These numbers give us a sense of the coin's availability and potential rarity. The value of a 1949 Lincoln Wheat Penny varies significantly based on its condition. Coins in good condition might be worth a few cents, while those in mint state or uncirculated condition can fetch higher prices. Factors such as luster, strike quality, and the presence of any errors or unique features also play a crucial role in determining a coin's value. Speaking of errors, keep an eye out for any anomalies on your 1949 wheat pennies. Errors like double dies, repunched mint marks, or off-center strikes can significantly increase a coin's value. These rare finds are often sought after by collectors and can command premium prices. 1924 Wheat Penny The 1924 Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Let's break down each variant and their unique aspects. The 1924 Philadelphia Mint Penny, with no mint mark, had a mintage of over 75 million coins. Despite its high mintage, finding one in pristine condition can be a challenge due to circulation wear. The 1924D, minted in Denver, had a significantly lower mintage of about 2.5 million. These are rarer and more sought after by collectors, especially in higher grades. The 1924S from San Francisco saw a mintage of around 11 million. Similar to the Denver Mint, higher grade examples are quite valuable due to the lower mintage. Now let's talk about the design. The obverse features the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. The reverse showcases two wheat ears, hence the name Wheat Penny and the words One Cent in United States of America. Brenner's initials, VDB, can be found on some of the earlier 1909 issues, but not on the 1924 versions. The now initial the question, what's the, the value of the 1924, but in a Lincoln much smaller penny. font? The value varies significantly based on the mint and the coin's condition. For the 1924 Philadelphia Mint Penny, values range from around 50 cents in good condition to about $30 in mint state. The 1924D can fetch between $20 in good condition to over $1,000 in mint state. Finally, the 1924S ranges from $1 in good condition to several hundred dollars in mint state. 1928 Wheat Penny The 1928 Lincoln Wheat Penny is a remarkable piece of American numismatic history. Minted during a period of economic prosperity, just before the onset of the Great Depression, this coin holds a unique place in the timeline of U.S. Coinage A The Lincoln Wheat Penny series, designed by Victor David Brenner, was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The 1928 penny continued the tradition with its iconic design featuring Let's Lincoln's take a closer profile look at the on design. the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse. On the obverse, we have the enduring image of President Abraham Lincoln, along with the inscriptions in God We Trust Liberty and the year 1928 Brenner's initials, VDB can be seen on the shoulder of Lincoln's bust. On the reverse, the wheat ears flank the inscriptions one cent in United States of America with the Latin motto E Pluribus Unum above, this classic design was used from 1909 to 1958 and remains a favorite among collectors. In 1928, these pennies were minted at three locations, Philadelphia No Mint Mark, Denver D Mint Mark, and San Francisco S Mint Mark. 
The Philadelphia Mint produced the most with over 134 million coins, while the Denver and San Francisco Mints produced significantly fewer, making the DNS Mint Mark coins more sought after by collectors. 1944 Wheat Penny The 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny is a remarkable coin with a rich history. It was minted during a pivotal time in American history right in the middle of World War II. Due to the war, the U.S. Mint had to make several adjustments to coin production. In 1943, pennies were made of steel to conserve copper for the war effort. However, in 1944, the mint returned to using copper primarily sourced from recycled ammunition shells. This makes the 1944 penny not only a piece of currency, but a piece of history. The design of the 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny is iconic. On the obverse, we have the familiar portrait of President Abraham Lincoln designed by Victor David Brenner. This design has been a staple since its introduction in 1909. The reverse features two wheat ears, symbolizing prosperity, framing the words one cent in United States of America. The phrase e pluribus unum also appears at the top. This penny weighs 3.11 grams and has a diameter of 19.05 m. It is composed of 95% copper and 5% zinc, a composition that remains standard until 1982. The 1944 Lincoln wheat penny was produced at three different mints, Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver D, and San Francisco S. Here's a quick rundown of their mintages. Philadelphia over 1 billion coins. Denver approximately 430 million coins. San Francisco about 282 million coins. Because of these large mintages, the 1944 Lincoln wheat penny is quite common, but certain variations and conditions can significantly affect its value. Now, let's talk about some of the most notable errors and varieties you might come across with the 1944 Lincoln wheat penny. One of the most famous is the 1944 steel wheat penny. Due to a minting error, a few steel planches from 1943 were mistakenly struck with the 1944 design. These rare coins can fetch thousands of dollars at auction. Another variety to look out for is the 1944D over S mint mark. This error occurs when a Denver mint mark is stamped over a San Francisco mint mark, creating a unique and valuable coin for collectors. Thanks for watching.